Good morning, Year 4, and welcome to your second guided reading session of the week. Uh, in the first session, we read through the text, Carnival, and then uh, you answered the first four questions. Um, today, you're going to answer the next four questions. So question five, question six, question seven, question eight. Again, we're going to... Um, read the text when we answer the question so for example question five where does the large parade in rio take place well then you're going to go up and you're going to read through um and it, it says uh, and when we're going to go up and you're going to read through the text and then you're going to find the answer answer so here it goes the largest carnival the most famous and largest carnival in the world takes place in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Carnival in Brazil is not just a fun celebration, it's a chance to experience the different types of culture in the country. Uh, Brazil is often referred to as a melting pot of culture. This is because there are a variety of different cultural influences brought about by the diverse population. There are many European, African and American influences. Carnival is about the Brazilian ways of life and their way of thinking. There are many parties celebrating the songs, music and dances typical of Brazilian culture. The most possible, the most popular form of music and dance at the Rio Carnival is Samba, a style unique to Brazil. Samba music is often played on drums and there is lots of traditional dancing. The Sambodromo is an avenue made to host Carnival in Rio. Every year there are over 500 foreign visitors to this area. So to answer, where does the large parade in Rio actually take place? Well, we know uh, the Samba Dromo is an avenue made to host carnival in Rio. So the answer would be the Samba Dromo. Can you please answer questions six, seven and eight, as well as five? And for eight, you need to imagine you have attended carnival and try and describe in three paragraphs what you have seen heard and experienced use as much detail as possible so imagine you've gone to the carnival and i want you to describe what you can see what you can hear what you might be doing i want you to try and describe it okay please answer those um four questions and do your best good luck remember for questions five six and seven the answers are in the text